makers, makers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jeanette Fryer. I'm the owner and maker of Jabelle Chic. So for today's video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be unboxing HTV Ront's new automatic tumbler heat press. I'm so excited to bring, to bring this product to you guys and to demonstrate how I sublimate a couple of tumblers on this heat press. So I'm really excited for this video. So once again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And at the end of this video, if you like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. So I think that is enough for me. Let's get into it. Let's go. Art maker. So this is going to be my first time opening this box and I wanted to open it with you guys. So let's go. love opening something new it's just I don't know it just feels like Christmas So right off the bat, she comes with some instructions, some heat tape, and some pretty heat gloves. The packaging is really, really secure on this, so like the foam is so so thick so everything is packaged so well so the top and the bottom was covered with this foam white yeah it's definitely white and it is not heavy at all so it is really really cute so I am going to I really hate reading instructions while I'm doing a video so I'm gonna get myself fluent on these instructions and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna demonstrate how we're gonna sublimate some tumblers art maker so I've read the instructions so I think I'm somewhat fluent on the instructions so I have not turned it on or even plugged it up so we're gonna go ahead and do that I have my plug in here right by my desk. So it does have a two prong plug. So any one tan outlet would do. So I've noticed that as soon as I turn it on, it started beeping and, bl and blinking. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is turn on the power button. The power button is blinking white and I'm going to press that. So as soon as I start pressing the power button, the temperature is displayed in Fahrenheit. So I am going to set the temperature. So in order to set the temperature, there is a temperature gauge that looks like a little thermometer. So I am going to, I will display pictures of all of this in the, um, probably up here. So you guys can see all of that on the display. So there is a temperature gauge. So I am going to press the temperature gauge and it starts blinking in Fahrenheit. So for the tumbler that I need to do, I need to heat it to around 370. So I'm gonna press the up button till it gets to 370 because we are doing, um, these are white tumblers, but they're stainless steel tumblers. So press temperature, raise it to 370. And I need to do it for 120 to 240 seconds. So after I have that, I press the, the time button, which is right below the temperature gauge. 
So I'm going to go up to 240 seconds. And I've noticed that you need to, let me press it again. Okay. So there's a plus button and a minus button. So I'm just pressing the plus button to get up to my desired seconds. desired temperature which is 370 so I do notice that the temperature is rising pretty quickly so I'm anticipating it's not going to take long for this to get to my desired temperature it is it's really really going Maker, so I'm not going to let you guys sit here where well, I can go ahead and talk about the tumblers that we're going to be using. So the temperature right now is at, is at 250 and it's still climbing. So the tumblers that I'm, we're going to be using is from you, you Zotin. This company reached out to me and sent me over, I think an eight pack of stainless steel tumblers. There are, they do have a white coating on them. So we are going to be trying out these tumblers in conjunction with this new heat press as well. So I think it was the perfect opportunity. So I will um, put the pictures of the, the tumblers that we're sublimating up here so you guys can see. I just got a little excited and went ahead and wrapped the tumblers. It, do take, it does take a little while to make sure you got everything nice and tight. This is not Sublimation 101, so I won't get into that. There are plenty of sublimation videos that you can watch on how to wrap a tumbler. I am by no means an expert. I've only sublimated, you know, a couple times here and there, but... I really enjoyed the process. So I went ahead and just um, wrapped the tumbler in some Christmas designs. They're really, really cute. I can't wait for you guys to see the, these designs. And I think I just went a little overkill with the tape, but better safe than sorry. So I just made sure everything was nice and tight and no gapping so I won't have any ghosting on the tumbler. So y'all, it is already at 300 degrees already. Go five. It climbs really well. 310. So I don't even think it's been not even five minutes. So I'm going to pause here. I'm not going to have you guys wait till everything heats up because I'm thinking we got about, yeah, we got, yeah, it has to get to 360 at least. But I will let you guys know how long it took the entire process. Art makers, it has heated up to my desired temperature. And I don't think it took probably not even five minutes, if that. All right, so I am going to try this out. So we're going to put our first tumbler in. And I am just going to put it in here in the middle. And I am going to press the start key. The start key is right beside the plus and the minus on the right side. As soon as I press the start key, it, the tumbler press just automatically enclosed the tumbler in. So I am going to let it go for like at least down to 120 in seconds. And I'm probably just going to finish the whole thing and rotate it and then turn it over. Just to be on the safe side. And it's really quiet. So as soon as I press the start button, the machine just closed in on the tumbler. I'm, I, you guys can probably see it from here. And it just really just, you know, you know, enclosed on the tumbler and just made it really nice and stuck. So here on the end, I am pushing. I'm going to take my heat glove 
and I'm just going to push the tumbler. You cannot move it. It's really snug and in there. It is, it's, it's on there. So I'm not going to, once again, I'm not going to have you guys sit here while the whole 240 seconds go down. So I'm going to, um, just put you guys on a break and then, you know, I probably don't need to do that. I want you guys to see how it opens. So right now we are at 150 seconds. It is really, really climbing. Well, really, really going down, I should say. So once again, if I, if I did not mention before, this video is sponsored by HTV Ron. They were kind enough to send me over this machine to try out. And you guys, I was so excited when they reached out to me to try this new machine. I, I was just like a, you know, a kid at Christmas. So I am just really excited to see how the entire process works because me, I'm not going to say I'm a lazy crafter, but I really like making things, you know, easy for me. And I think this is going to make things easy. It really takes the guest work out of, you know, thinking, you know, open the machine, doing all of that because it's going to do everything for you. Everything is automatic that I've noticed. So it's really just going to take out a lot of the guesswork when you're sublimating tumblers. Of you guys i am excited to just see it open by itself i think that's the most exciting part and i'm really excited about this machine i just see it just open up i'm really unsure if it's when it stops if i'm gonna rotate it to heat it up again i'm not sure I'm probably just going to look at the design and see if I see some type of transfer coming through. And if it looks good, I may go with that. Ten seconds. We're almost there, you guys. It's opening. It's opening. Ah! All right. Let's put our gloves on. I do see some transfer on the top, so I'm thinking it's gonna be good. All right, let me find a little, I'm looking for my little silicone mat so I can put the tumbler on it. So I don't burn my table. you guys when I'm like when I'm crafting and you're looking for everything you can't seem to find what you need all right so I'm gonna try this maybe it won't burn all right so let's take it out and I do see some transfer so I think I'm gonna go with that yeah so it seemed to be transferred all right, so while we're waiting for that one to cool, we are going to put the other one in here. And once again, the same process. We're going to press the start button. Y'all see that? Automatic. That's, that's nothing but love right there. That's nothing but love. All right, so makers, I'm going to let this run. This is going to cool off. When we be back, when I come back on here, we're going to have two sublimated tumblers, and we're going to untape them, and you're going to see the results of the new HTV automatic tumbler heat press. All right, makers, so our second tumbler, our second tumbler is down. I had my TV going. Our second tumbler is down to 26 seconds, and... Once again, I just wanted you guys to see how it opens up. I don't know. That's just my best part. And I just wanted you guys to be here with me when I open up the second one. So this one is cooling. Should be cool. Yeah, it's cool enough for me to touch. But I'm going to let it cool a little bit more. But here we go. Here we go. We're going to open up the second one. Y'all, look at that. Look at that. Bam. I do see some transfer on this one as well, so I'm thinking I don't need to rotate it, so it may be good. All 
All right, so I am going to probably leave it plugged up because I'm probably going to play with it some more. Yeah, this one is good to touch. But if it wasn't, you want to make sure you still have your heat protection gloves on before you start unwrapping everything. All right, so we're going to begin to unwrap our first one. And y'all, I got some tape on here. <laughs> So you guys can see but let me get the tape off Y'all, so I did not have to rotate it at all. Y'all, look at that. I did not have to rotate it. It, it, one shot, one kill. So when you put the design in here, you, I'm finding you do not have to rotate it. You just leave it in the automatic heat press, and it's gonna do, it's gonna do it for you. It's gonna sublimate the entire tumbler all the way around. So I'm really, really excited about that process. Look at that. Look at that transfer. Everything is really dark, really cute, and it's just perfect. It's perfect. My lineup is just a tad off, but that's something I have to work on. But as far as the heat press and the design and the transfer and the color transfer on this tumbler, it is awesome. And the tumblers that I'm using, so it, it's just, this machine just really made it happen. I think the most exciting part is that I noticed that well, I think I told you before, you do not have to rotate your tumbler. You put it in there and it's one shot, one kill based on your desired temperature and your desired seconds. So it is just so cute. So this is like a little gingerbread pattern. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Just in time for Christmas. All right, so let's look at the other one. Be ready to take off. Let's see what we got. Been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading in all these photos. Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights. Just keep on wasting. Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around. Drown in our fights. And, and here we are. This is like some little vintage Christmas trees, and it says Merry Christmas. Y'all, I am sold on this machine. I am, I am sold. It's so cute. And they, I mean, the, the time that it took in here. And then, like I said, I think I'm sold mostly on the, you know, the guesswork that I don't have to rotate the tumbler. And, you know, most of all, it's just, you know, one shot, one kill. You don't have to think about opening it up and things like that. It's going to do it for you. So it's going to do everything for you. Look at that design, y'all. It is so cute. The transfer, everything, everything transferred perfectly. All right, makers, before we move on, I want to point out some of the features. So like I said, when you turn the machine on, the power button is blinking. So you're going to go ahead and press that. As soon as you turn it on, the LCD screen starts blinking. And then to change the temperature, you have the temperature gauge here. You have the time gauge here. You have the plus and minus here, and you have the start button here that looks like a little R. So in order to set the temperature, you would simply press the temperature gauge here. 
and then right now it's linking at 370 because that's what I had it at previously. And if you want that to go down, you press the temperature gauge. Like I said, if you want it to go down, you're simply press the minus button and you can see it starts going down. If you want it to go up, you press the plus button. All right, so once again, if you want to start it, you press the R button. I'm not going to start it because I don't have a tumbler in there, but I just want you guys to see a real close up of the machine and the LCD screen. So once again, this is the power button. This is the temperature button. The time button is set the minutes. As soon as you press it, the second starts blinking and you will simply press plus or minus to change those. And once again, this is the start button. Art makers, you see we have sublimated two beautiful Christmas designs using HGV's Ront's new automatic tumbler press and they sublimate it so beautiful. So in order to stop the machine, you just simply press the power button and it starts blinking white and then you just simply unplug it from there. Um, however, I did notice that the instructions say if there's no operation of this machine within 15 minutes, the machine will automatically turn off. So that is a good feature. However, for safety measures, you do want to make sure that you press the power button and unplug the machine properly and store it away. So it is really, really great. So in order to, you just, I mean, y'all, I don't know if I mentioned how heavy it is. It's not that heavy. So it is a really, really good machine it's built very well it seems to be really you know robust and things like that so it's not you know cheap or you know plasticky it does not feel like that it feels like it does have some steel elements inside of it of course you know with the heating elements and things like that but i just really really love the footprint it's not big at all it's really nice and sleek no handles to pull down no handles to jerk up and i think that is the i think that's that's a good feature as well because you know with any other machines you have bulky handles you gotta pull them and then when the machine stops you, you know it starts beeping and then you gotta lift it up off the tumbler of course you gotta rotate your tumbler because there's no rounded he heated elements to make sure the tumbler is going to heat all the way around things like that so those are really good features and i think the most important thing is starting the tumbler and it and it encloses this tumbler the way it's supposed to go sets the temperature takes the gas work out and then when the tumbler is done it automatically releases the tumbler and you take it out. Simple as day, no guesswork in it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed me demonstrating HTV, HTV's Runt new automatic tumbler heat press. Y'all, the transfer is beautiful. It's just my favorite design so far. I am going to be doing some more. So I think I may even end up taking this to my upcoming Christmas markets and do some tumbler personalized tumblers you know on the spot or things like that or maybe some someone picks a design and i can just automatically sublimate it right there you know so you know instead of making a whole bunch of tumblers and no one buys them they pick a design and say hey sublimate it on a cup it's easy as pie because i can take this with me so once again makers i really hope you enjoyed today's video and i really hope you guys try out HTV's Runt new automatic heat press. There are some links that I will be listing down below. I think for whenever I get this video up, it is going to be like Friday. So there are some links and some sales and some promotions that they're going to be giving out to customers. So you really want to take advantage of that, of those promotions during the holiday shopping season. So once again, makers, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And once again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. So until the next video, you guys stay blessed. And most of all, continue creating.